tag your stuff. It's really simple. If you don't want to lose your stuff, make sure that everybody knows that it's your stuff. You might have seen in movies or pictures that people have like weird numbers on their rifles and it's called different names. It has like a buttstock number or a armory number or a personal identification number, which is basically to keep track of the rifle, where it is and who has it. Now in Airsoft, I use the same ID. I just tag instead of only my rifle. My rifle is also tagged, but I tag almost everything. So my stuff doesn't get lost and if somebody uses my stuff they can see on the tag afterwards that it was my stuff and they will return it back to me. Most of the team have their own tag number and you, the tag number is usually just three digits or a combination of digits and letters. Mine is A03, Lisa's is 313 and it, there is basically no rule on what you can choose. I know some teams have a stricter number thingy going but in our team it's like you can choose whatever you want. So long story short your number is to identify your stuff in a pile of other stuff. During longer events it's common that gear get lent out or people use your gear for amount of the mission. By having that tag on your gear people know that it's your stuff and they will bring it back to you after the mission or after the game depending on how long they're gonna use it. And as you can see on the gear that I have on the table I don't stop by tagging my rifle, I tag everything. Even the small bit set is tagged with my number, my red dot, my mattresses, my both of my mattresses here, my magazines are tagged. It's not just the color tape but there is also my number on it and even my chest rig is tagged. But for some reason it might be that somebody needs my chest rig so now uh, if they need it they know who it is and who they have to bring it back to. And to put all the tags on your gear and accessories I use a paint marker which is the best way of tagging everything. So yeah paint markers are the way to go if you want to tag on almost any surface. Paint markers. Maybe a small example. If you go to Burgett with a group of 20 people most of them have the same tent. We arrive a little bit earlier but we still have the tents on site. So what we do is we set up all the tents and every bag is tagged so we know which bag needs to be in which tent and if we set up the tents we already know whose tent it is so we can put everything together so when the people arrive that arrive a little bit later they have already a place to sleep and all their gear is already in the right place and after the event there is always that little pile of gear that nobody knows who gears it is and if there is a tag on it they can just take a picture of a tag put it in the overall chat and you can say oh this is my gear or oh I know that tag this is his gear so you can bring it to that guy or girl so even if people don't know that this tag is yours if they take a picture of it and you recognize or anybody recognizes the tag, it's much easier to get the right gear to the right person. So my tip for you, tag your stuff and you will lose less gear. And with that, I wish you a very good evening and I'll see you next week for a new video. Bye! Now let's see what YouTube is gonna choose for you, you, you. Like this is one that YouTube chooses for you. This one is something that I will choose for you. I think it's gonna be, hmm, what are we going to give to you? And if you want to, I don't know, that one. <laughs> I have no idea. Like, pick something.